Years ago, Joanne Matuk Romaine was found dead in the Detroit River. Police said that she committed suicide, but her family says that's just not possible. Now the family is filing a lawsuit against police who are part of that investigation. They're asking for $100 million in damages. 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell was at that press conference today where they announced those allegations. This is a copy of the lawsuit filed this week against Gross Point Farms and Gross Point Woods Police. It claims not only did they make mistakes, they covered up a murder. Four years ago, Joanne Matuk Romaine was found in the Detroit River. Police said footprints seen after she went missing led from her Lexus at St. Paul Catholic Church in Gross Point Farms to Lake St. Clair, and they believed she had killed herself. Her family says this picture is evidence of a cover up, that the pavement was dry. Anybody that had suggested she was suicidal, um, it was all false information. Once you sit back and reflect, you realize, oh wow, look, look at all these dots that do not connect. Her children and their lawyers during a press conference today outlined the evidence that they say doesn't add up. They say Joanne's shoes covered in clay in the river have no scuff marks or scratches from the walk through rocks she would have had to make to reach the water. That witnesses saw suspicious men. That her purse seen here was torn, a sign of a struggle. There are police officers out there right now who know what happened to Joanne. This blue coat of silence has got to stop. We definitely know enough that it was not a suicide, it was a murder. It's, it's a personal vendetta and that's all I can really state at this time. Police have stood by their investigation. It will be months before this case gets close to going before a jury. Kim Russell, 7 Action News. Okay, Kim, thank you. Uh, coming up at 7, or, I'm sorry, at 6 o'clock here on 7 Action News, uh, our investigator Heather Cantalo shows you the police report behind Matuk's death and the reason why they ruled her death a suicide.